You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of this get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Gang, gang, gang. RiceGang.myshopify.com. Log on for the merchandise. You heard me, right? So, there's a couple things going on. Obviously, uh, URL's got Smack Volume 5 going on tomorrow. Then there's the Day 2 card, you know, with a bunch of battles on there. Uh, Prez Mafia is backed out of his battle. And Craig Lamar is backed out of his battle, too. But don't say... I'm not, I'm not, don't say you're surprised, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> These are the guys that when we did the vlog yesterday had the most reaction to, and now, you know, do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. Let's get to actual rap, and I said Prez would back out, and Craig wouldn't be prepared, and the next day it actually happened. I mean, it is what it is. It actually happened. That's how the parallel, that's how the, it, it works like that. But, uh, I'm here to, re to recap. At battle, Tay Rock for a shotgun show. I'm a real goon. Let me tell you what I expect from you. I expect you to pull up with the grip up, mask on like a stick up. You should have had raw back like you trying to knock your bitch up. Yeah. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. Um, he'll be here tomorrow as we go through all of Smack Volume 5. But I wanted to just get into this battle right quick, give my personal thoughts and how I felt about it. Um, dropped this morning. And to say the least, both of these guys come into this battle. Shotgun Show's got a lot going on. He's got Snake Eyes he's battling tomorrow, and Shotgun Show has had some good battles this year. Him and Pat Stay was one of the better ones he had this year. Him and Pat Stay was pretty fire. I think he battled Chef Trez this year, too. Yeah, at the Resolution, Chef Trez. Um, he had JC, obviously. That was an unforgettable battle. But he's been doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? That's musically, and he had a, was it Rum Nitty? Rum Nitty? Yeah, um, he had Rum Nitty this year. Um, and he's been doing what he do, but now he's coming into a battle with Tay Rock. Obviously, him and Rock battled years ago, outside and all of that, and now they're battling again. And um, I, you know, Tay Rock's been doing what he's been doing. But this battle was the Thursday before the Saturday. It was like two days before he was supposed to be battling Rex. And um, in this battle, coming into it, obviously nobody really, not a lot of people didn't know about it. I had heard, I had heard. I had heard, I had heard rumblings and whispers about, you know what I'm saying, I had heard whispers that it was going down, but I didn't know for sure whether uh, Rock was battling Shook. Um, so anyway, um, salute to Rock for wearing that blue um, Rice Gang hoodie in that joint too. Why is it my name Jimmy Collin? He's psycho. Bang! Now Jimmy Fallen on the Tonight Show. Oh. I'm saying salute to my guy. Um, so Shotgun Shook comes out in his first round. Shotgun will make Rock feel small, Cobblestone. Um, slam on him. Now cops got a cradle Rock like MJ in 84. Um, he said, I shot Rock first movie like the, Scorp like the Scorpion King. No, he said, I shot Rock first movie like the Mummy Returns. I'm torching the thing. Now I got a spin off rock like the Scorpion King. You know what I'm saying? Like I sp rock spin off was the Scorpion King. I like that actual bar. Um, he, he said, what is life like? What is life like? And he got into that little segment. I ain't have time to decide if I wanted to join the gang. It was too late. Um, Shotgun Shook had a pretty consistent first round. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Tay Rock first round. Uh, he had a good, good tape deck. CD player, Walkman scheme. He said, have your block taped on both sides from A to B, cassette deck. When the cops come, they gonna have to walk man to see where I lay this headset. To see where his headset, walk man, take a walk with me. Take this walk with me. Um, and then he had a line, when I, when I send his baby back, you can see his, when I send his baby back, you can see his ribs. Okay, good. Um, I trapped off a next tell in high school. I had my school high. I walked around with a nine and a half. It's not my shoe size. I walked around with a nine and a half. It's not my shoe size. Uh, first round was pretty close, but I feel like Rock's material to me resonated a little bit better than Shotgun Shook. Shotgun Shook still had some shit. His first round was fire. Um, second round, Shotgun Shook, he comes out. 2010 to 2019, that shit just sounds far. But smack Lincoln the same body like a town car. You know, because Lincoln, town car. He's linking, as in linking, the same body. But Lincoln makes the same body that town car is the same every fucking year. Shot that sugar a little word, bro. Okay. Okay. Um, 
okay. Um, he said, I'm from the trap. I used to cook rock. I'm having deja vu. And then he said, uh, he was talking about the whole situation with the Briz and the fight situation. Rock got to know this is going to be the angle against him for like the next 250 years. Like everybody's going to be talking about his fight situation. Um, he said, you should have had Raw back like you're trying to knock your bitch up. Like you should have had Raw back like you're trying to knock your bitch up. Uh, I get hot, this Caliente. It was a good round. The, the Caliente, Caliente, Caliente. I don't know. I was reading and hearing that, that Twerk may have said something like that before. I don't fucking know. I don't, I'm don't. i not a bar bank. I can't keep all these bars in my mind. It was a good line. Uh, good round from Shotgun Shook. Not a bad round from Shotgun Shook. Uh, Tay Rock comes out in his second round. Uh, he had a line. Now, Jimmy Fallen on the Tonight Show. It's Jimmy Fallon, but Jimmy Fallon. He said, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon. And Shotgun Shook could be here and saying, it's Fallon, not Fallon. It's Fallon. It's Fallon, it's Fallon not Fallon, Rock. That was a reach. But, I mean, the crowd loved it. They dug it. Uh, he said, I'm, he said I'm, I'm ready to die about everything. I'm ready to go to the gun store and buy out everything. Buy out everything. Die about everything. He was getting into a good little flurry of bars. Um, the crowd picked that up. Uh, he said, think all of us is joking till it's Cassidy at lockdown. The arsenal in your face with the smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, the arsenal in your arsenal smoking, blowing smoking um, to in fucking Cassidy's face at the lockdown. Then he got into the holy shit. He said, I go to your funeral, I shoot up some holy shit. Then you can hold this L, you don't owe me shit. Before the shot. Grape Street after the shot, rolling crib, but then uh, Rock had like a uh, stumble. I'm gonna say it was a choke stumble. It was like about eight to ten second stumble choke in his second. Then he got into some dope material, but he choked in the second. So of the technicality, you could give, you gotta give Suge the second round. Um, third round, Suge. Uh, Kyrie, who else? Who else handled the Rock better than me? Uh, this Miller shoot Rock nine times in eight seconds, and then um. He had a, his round was, it wasn't that long though. I think these rounds was only like two minute rounds. Let me be honest with you, I think the rounds might have been like two minutes. Uh, Shotgun Shook had a cool round, but to me it wasn't his first. His first was dope, his second was good. The third, it kind of like tapered off. And then Rock, um, I don't know his gut feeling, but something ain't feeling right. Then Rock had another stumble, and Shook was mentioning like, yo, you better not edit up this footage. But then once he got past the stumble, he got into some more material, it was just, to me, um, it was not Rock's best night. He had like a, a stumble in one round and a choke in the next round. Um, a lot of people didn't give this battle a shotgun show. I could see where some people could say even with the stumble in the second, Rock's material after that point was fire. But it was a good app, uh, app release battle. Um, I don't think this battle will hurt Shotgun Shook stock at all, especially if he's getting the win for it. But um, the way I look at it, obviously, you got choking one round, you got stumbling the next round. I mean, it's kind of clear who you could give the win to or who should be getting the win. You know what I'm saying? The same way I, um, I, would, I would do it the same way if Shotgun Shug was the one that choked in two rounds. So, Rock's got to tighten it up. Uh, cool battle overall. Not the craziest battle that I've ever seen, but it's not, it's not a bad battle at the same time. It's like I said, it's a good app release battle. You know what I'm saying? Like a strictly app joint. And um, Shotgun Shug will continue to proceed and grow. Uh, he's got Snake Eyes coming up. And if he even remotely cares about Snake Eyes, he should be all right in that battle. You know what I'm saying? He should be. And Tay Rock, you know, he's got battles coming up too, I'm pretty sure. The new year is approaching. But uh, we're going to see where that goes. But in this one, on this night, Shotgun Shug, his first round was dope. Second round was dope. Cradle to Cradle MJ, like Mike in 84. Okay, Shotgun Shug. I take it. I will take. I will take this performance, my guy. I will take it. You know, we we, we go. I will take this one to the bank. Um, Rock, got to clean it up. You got to clean it up. Uh, can't be having those battles with those chokes. Cause like Shotgun Sugar, like if Rock gets through all of his rounds clean, every round, if he gets through every single round clean with no chokes and no stumbles. I don't know if uh, Suge would have even got a round. Just being honest with you, I don't know if he would have got a round. He probably would have got 30. So now you're doing favors. You out here doing favors, Rock? You out here doing favors? Okay, you're doing favors. He's doing favors. <laughs> Coach, pull us up. Bring a sub in because he's out here doing favors. Um, yeah, you got to get that together. You, you, you definitely um, can't be out here choking and stumbling in battles and then think you're going to get the win. Uh, 
Another blog that I was going to do, but I'm not going to do it no more. Uh, I'll just throw the information in here. Uh, Griselda. Griselda? Huh? Conway. The Butcher coming. Benny the Butcher. Uh -huh. West Side Gun. They had um, jumped on Hot 97. And they was explaining the whole situation with Nick Cannon and um, his, 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 his cohorts. The Wild and Outs. The Red Team. They are basically saying that this is not good enough to respond to. They're like, it's not really good enough. They're looking at it as more so like a spoof. Like, it's not really good enough for them to respond to as far as the video the setup everything about it was just not executed well so they like they don't really even see themselves responding to it conway be with the shits though if you don't know conway had this battle rappers back in the day uh he had a video where he was going through a whole bunch of battle rappers so he was saying that he would he would kind of do it just for the sport of it because he that's the shit that he'd like to do like conway do do that but um the other guys was kind of like it wasn't good and and they don't really look at the diss like that and i always said that when it comes to these diss songs especially like the one with nick cannon on it, it's like you got to look at who's 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 running the, who's running the show here when you got him running the operation it can only be but so much we don't expect hit him up from nick cannon do we we don't expect ether from nick do we expect ether from nick i can't have either expectations from a nigga who runs a show that they're joking seven days a week. Now, you have to be happy for the lives that Nick Cannon has changed. He's changed a lot of lives, you know what I'm saying? He's um, conceded, Charlie Clips, Hitman Holla, Sharon, like a whole bunch of battle rappers have been on his show. So he has changed people's lives, helped them exponentially. These guys are eating, they're touring over the globe, they have thousands and thousands, some of them have millions of, of followers. So they're making money, residual income. but. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, why, why didn't so many people talk about the uh, Eminem verse on the Fat Joe song? I did hear the Eminem verse on the Fat Joe song. He did poke fun at Nick Cannon first. And, um, th but they've been going back and forth for years as far as with the Mariah Carey thing. And the verse was okay. Like The verse wasn't the craziest verse in the world. But um, it was Eminem taking shots at him. But um, like I said, overall, I think it's just a ploy to get him to go on wilding out the show. And I don't think Eminem will ever do that. But um, when it's all said and done, I guess all press is good press because it's going to help those guys out as far as like being more noticeable and notoriety from that perspective. Because like I said, that video that they did is going to do more views than any battle that they've ever had. And it's already at like five and a half million or something like that in like a couple of days on World Star. So it already surpassed anything that they've ever done. Well. Conceited may have a six million view battle. I think him and Dumbfounded is like six million or something like that. But it's gonna pass that battle too. It'll pass every single battle that those guys have ever done. Which will help them in the long run, but I don't know if it was thought through. And my last personal thought is I just thought that Nick Cannon kinda of like put those guys out there. And some people will look at it like, oh he put them out there in a good way, but I look at it like once shit really got hot, he did the second track and kinda of like just let them guys have at it, which is cool, but you know, if Eminem or any of those guys to come back, it might be a little smoke. It might it may, could be a little smoke. But uh yeah, so Tay Rock versus um Shotgun Shug. There goes your recap. I hope y'all niggas enjoy. And I have to do it when I have the time, when I'm available, you know what I'm saying? Cause if I wait and procrastinate, you might not even get to see a recap till two, three days from now. But you already know what it doing, what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. <laughs>